students welcome to parus academy today in this class we will discuss about software development process first one is what is software development process it is the process of developing the software okay software development process consist of many steps and processes for developing a new software the software is developed according to the requirement of the customer software development process is also called as software development life cycle it means sdlc and we can call it as software life cycle or software process next one iso iec 12207 is a seven international standard for software life cycle process okay for software life cycle we have a iso standard iso iec 12207 okay it is a seven international standard next one is software development process defines all the task or activities required for developing and maintaining the software so for example now we are going to develop a new software product for developing that software product we have many activities we require many activities all those activities are defined in this software development process all the required task and activities required for developing and maintaining the software is defined in this software development process what are the series of activities process activities in software development process means first one is requirement analysis planning designing implementation integration maintenance first one requirement analysis requirement analysis means if we want to do if we want to prepare something we, we need some things we need some equipments okay for so for developing the software also we require some items okay we require some activities or processes anything okay all those requirements have to be analyzed in this phase next one is planning if we want to do anything we have to plan first we have to plan that planning is done here next one is designing for developing a software we have to design that software okay that uh, designing is done in this phase next one is implementation after designing we have to implement we have to implement and check whether it is working properly or not that implementation is done here next one is integration integration means th there are many processes all the processes and activities are done separately all those activities are integrated together in this phase next one is maintenance during this phase the product is maintained the customers may require some changes or they require some enhancements to the delivered system so these changes are implemented during this phase all the changes which is uh, required by the customers uh, will be implemented during this phase this is maintenance come let's learn the software development processes one by one first process is requirement analysis the process of refining and extending the initial set of requirements are known as requirement analysis it means already we have the requirements of the software project here in this phase we have to refine that requirements and we have to extend all the set of requirements we need for developing the software product next one is next point is the purpose of software is determined so purpose of the software is determined here in this requirement analysis phase we have to analyze the purpose of the software for what purpose we are developing this particular software okay next requirements are gathered from the customer and for whom we are developing the software for customer only we are developing the software so we have to collect many requirements from the customer only for the use of customer only we are developing this uh, software product 
ओके सो कस्टमर रिक्वायर मेनी थिंग्स दे एक्सपेक्ट मेनी थिंग्स सो वी हैव टू कलेक्ट द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फ्रॉम द कस्टमर देन इन दिस रिक्वायरमेंट एनालिसिस द द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिस्कवरिंग द रिक्वायरमेंट्स इज कॉल्ड एज रिक्वायरमेंट एलिसिटेशन फ्रॉम द रिक्वायरमेंट्स वी वी आर डिस्कवरिंग सम न्यू थिंग्स ओके दैट इज रिक्वायरमेंट्स एलिसिटेशन द एनालाइज्ड रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर रिकॉर्डेड इन द स्पेसिफिक डॉक्यूमेंट ओके व्हाट आर ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशंस डेटास वी नीड ऑल दोस डेटास आर कलेक्टेड एंड रिकॉर्डेड इन स्पेसिफिकेशन डॉक्यूमेंट next one is planning planning is very very important for all the work for all the process we have to plan so preparing a plan for the software development activities each and every software development activities we have to prepare a plan plan includes the technical task to be conducted all those technical task are conducted in this plan it includes work products to be developed required resources the list of risk expected so in plan what are all includes in plan means work products what are all the products used for the work is to be developed in this planning phase and required resources what are all the resources we need everything will be included in this plan and the risk what are all the risk we will face what are all the risk we will expect everything will be recorded in this included in this plan the schedule for the work to be done next so what work we are going to do what are all the process we are going to do how we are going to do everything will be scheduled in this planning okay this is about planning next one is designing so designing means we have to design a software product in this designing phase we have two activities one is architectural design another one is detailed design first we will see about architectural design architectural design means law it is a logic design of a product is developed logic design means basic design of the product the product is decomposed into a list of modules here in this architectural design the product is divided into modules it is the whole product is divided into small small modules here next each modules perform a single action each and every module will perform one action a single action so that is architectural design it is a logic design the product is divided into list of modules and that modules will perform a single action next one detailed design detailed design means individual module is designed in detail in architectural design products are divided into modules but in this detailed design individual each and every module will be designed in detail and it is also known as that uh, architectural design is logical design and detailed design is physical design or low level design we can call it as physical design or low level design all the modules are designed in detailed here that's why we are calling it as detailed design next one is implementation next phase is implementation the designed modules are coded and tested here implementation means everything everything is planned all the requirement analysis are done and planning has done design also has done okay after this we have to test and we have to code the module and test the modules and that coding and testing are done in this implementation phase next one is integration integration means there are many processes have done separately or the products are divided into modules so all those modules are combined integrated okay combined together in this integration phase so the modules of the products are combined and tested all the modules are combined and tested here this integration is performed parallel to implementation phase next one this phase terminates when the product is accepted by the client implementation and integration are done parallelly the integration will get terminated after the client's acceptance okay after the customer accept accepting the product then only the integration phase will be terminated next last one is maintenance maintenance is the product is maintained 
after delivering to the customer the product is maintained here next customers may require some changes or enhancements to the delivered system okay after delivering to the customer the customer will use the software product developed software product if they need some changes and if they need some enhancement to the delivered system delivered software we have to do that changes those changes are implemented due the, during this phase okay so maintenance means after delivering the developed software to the customer also we have to maintain that product if the customer requires some changes we have to do the changes we have to clear the changes all the changes the customer needs everything must be implemented during this maintenance phase and this is about maintenance this is all about software development process software development process is software development life cycle okay it is also called a software process it has totally it has six phases requirement analysis planning designing implementation integration and maintenance okay students this is about software development process i hope you all understood if you have any doubt Please comment on comment section that's it for now we will meet in next class thank you for watching